September 28, 2017 BN staff September 28, 2017 BN staff Jamie Conlon breaks down his world title shot Jamie Conlon breaks down his world title shot Don't miss any action. Sign up for the freebie and newsletters here back in July, Belfast Superflyweight contender Jamie Conlon got to scrutinize IBF champion Jerwin Pretty Boy and Codges from ringside, whilst supporting brother Michael in Brisbane, Australia. The feisty Filipino southpaw, beaten just once in 29 bouts with 18 KOs, appeared ruthless whilst destroying Japan's Teru Kinoshita in seven. Conlon faces Ankajas for the world title at the SSE Arena Belfast on Saturday, November 18, live on BT Sport and Box Nation. Here's what the Mexican had to say on his next opponent I got to see the first round, and then the final couple of rounds from ringside and Jerwin was very impressive. Studying from close-up, rather than on TV you get to hear the thud of a fighter's punches. It can be daunting. For one so small, he's extremely powerful, but he's not just a brawler and a banger. He started out nice and relaxed, patient in his approach. Like all the top Asian fighters around the weight, he's extremely tough. He's got a good grasp of distance and range and systematically breaks opponents down. Once he gets inside, he's shown a ruthless finishing instinct. At the post-fight press conference, the Japanese kid's face was in bits. He was mentally and physically fed. And Jerwin's just 25, still to hit his prime. In Australia, he was training at the same time as my brother Michael who got a good look at him. Ankajas was wearing a sweatsuit for every session, and there was talk from his camp that he may be moving up. The Filipinos were meticulous in everything they did, and Mick said they were good people, smiling all week, very humble. The world champion requested a photo with Michael, a bloody novice he has been on my radar for a wee while now. Ankajas was a big underdog when he won the title, beating a very good champion McJo Arroyo, a former world medalist and Beijing Olympian, over in the Philippines. I'd be an underdog against any of the champions, but, looking at that list, Ankajas might be the weakest of the current crop. My team need to scrutinize all his tapes and come up with a master plan. At premium level, every fighter is fit and capable. It's the incidentals like home advantage and tactics on the night that make the marginal differences. Though Jer wins of Southpaw, he doesn't really fight like a Southpaw. He's not at all awkward elusive one. He seems easy enough to hit. He doesn't fully capitalize on his Southpaw advantage. While he's used to facing the Asian style, he could probably be outboxed from the outside by a big European, like myself. That's what I need to do to win the fight. His manager introduced us, and, up close and personal, I was a lot bigger. If Van Kajas could drag me into a war, I'd have to go really deep. He drowned Kinoshita. Remaining disciplined would be the key. I don't have a great track record I'm entering this fight with big self-belief that I can bring home the bacon. There's still a heck of a lot that I'm capable of that I've not yet shown. Read more articles by BN staff.